हे गाईज वेलकम बॅक टू माय चॅनल महागुरु यश आर्किटेक्चर क्लासेस अँड सो फार वी हॅव स्टार्टेड विथ अर प्रिपरेशन फॉर अर गेट ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन एक्झाम अँड फॉर दॅट वी हॅव स्टार्टेड डिस्कसिंग स्मॉल स्मॉल टॉपिक्स फ्रॉम इंडिव्हिज्युअल सेक्शन्स सो टुडेज टॉपिक विच वी आर गॉन डिस्कस टुडे इज पॅसिफ हिटिंग टेक्निक्स इन बिल्डिंग्स विच मेनली कम्स अंडर द सेक्शन ऑफ एन्व्हायरमेंटल डिझाईन अँड प्लॅनिंग as per the older section i will be introducing you the in the new syllabus i guess next week so till then obviously this is a part of the syllabus yet but we'll discuss this let's move forward <coughs> so the passive heating techniques are basically categorized as in two ways which is a direct heat gain and an indirect heat gain so in case of for a direct heat gain we have glazed windows but for indirect heat gain we have trombe wall which is further divided into two types vented and unvented other than that we will also talk about water walls and trans walls <coughs> the first uh, would be we'll be talking about is direct heat gain and which is obviously through your glazed windows <coughs> so this is a typical section of how can you use glazed windows for in case of a direct heat gain so obviously you have a glazing you've got a glazing which transmits and lets the heat come inside when the heat is come uh, is inside you you try to put in big thermal mass so that the heat is stored within the building so you'll put a uh, thermal you have a thermal storage in case of your wall and your floor as well because these are the only ways through which <coughs> your uh, heat would go out the next is you provide an insulation so that you do not have any kind of uh, heat loss in during night so you put a insulation on your wall ground and your roof in case uh, of summers you also provide a clerestory window for cooling so what happens is it maintain the cycle of see the heat comes in it go, moves up and goes out so there's a ventilation pro- uh, proper ventilation and you also <coughs> sorry so you also provide overhang so that you do not have any overheating so when you provide a sh- uh, shading device it has to be properly calculated so that you do not have extra heat coming in so we'll now go on to our indirect heat gain so for in case of indirect heat gain we'll first talk about trombe wall so what a trombe wall basically is a thermal storage wall which has a high heat storage capacity it's mostly bricks and the external surface of this uh, bricks is painted black so that this black uh, uh, black wall can absorb a lot of heat and in in front of a black wall you have a glass wind uh, a glass wall so what happens is this glass wall absorbs the heat and let it store between uh, let uh, the air between the glass and the tra- and the wall is stored and the wall then absorb this hot air other than that uh, obviously the solar radiation is absorbed by, uh, absorbed by the blackened surface and the <coughs> the heat is stored in this brick wall so in case of an unvented uh, trombe wall the stored heat slowly migrates to the interior where it heats the adjacent living space as in you can see a glass wall a space an air gap and then the black brick wall so what happens is <coughs> heat falls on the glass surface which heats up the air between these two thing uh, between the glass and the brick then this uh, hot uh, air uh, passes the heat from the brick wall to the interior position interior spaces <laughs> if if these are properly designed keeping all the calculations of the width uh, of the width of the wall it would be enough to provide heat till the night as well some of the heat generated in the air space between the glazing and the storage wall is lost back to the outside through the glass as in during night this air this hot air will lose out its heat directly very easily from the glass wall the hotter they are in the air space the greater is the heat loss so that's the major disadvantage which unvented trombe wall is by the night it easily just gives out the warmth the hotness of the air in case of vented <coughs> trombe wall the heat loss can be reduced by venting the storage mass 
so now you can see there are two vents in the <coughs> storage mass so the air the air in the space between the glazing and the warm wall gets warmed up so when the solar uh, radiations come in hit the glass it warms up the air between them the hot air moves up and from the vent goes into the it goes into the living space after this hot it makes the interior hot and when it gets cooled down it go uh, it uh, because cold air is heavier it comes down and from the uh, from the uh, the vent at the bottom it goes again into this uh, into the gap between the glazing and the wall and hence you have <coughs> a cycle complete cycle going on other than that uh, through air from the above heated air is also coming other than that from the central uh, mass which is the black wall you again have that heat coming in so uh, again as per uh, just like uh, direct heat gain we also provide uh, shad uh, <coughs> shading devices so that unwanted heat could be easily cut off so you can see from the images that during winters we need that sun not during the summer so we make the angle the length of the shading device in such a way so that only the winter sun is uh, we only uh, take the winter sun and not the summer sun <coughs> so the trombe wall can provide induced ventilation for summer cooling of the space the heated air in the collector space flows uh, through exhaust so what happens is you can provide a vent on the so within the interior space you have one wall which will act as a trombe wall and you can have one more wall you the other side of the wall where you can provide a small vent so which this vent can uh, as mostly used in case of uh, like exchange of air other than that you can also have a vent in your uh, glazing so that the new air comes in and goes out so that the oxygen level of the air shouldn't get reduced hence you need a ventilation within the system in the interior system and also in the exterior system so that <coughs> the oxygen level doesn't get down so you can go through this this is a typical section of the trombe wall go through it it's very simple i need not to explain i have as the basic principle i have already i have already explained the uh, the basic and if you've got any doubts please let me know in the comment section we will discuss this further no worries the next is a water wall so what happens in case of water wall you remember the gap between the trombe wall and trom uh, between the glazing and the wall in trombe wall it was air so now in uh, in case of a water wall we have cans black cans so you have black cans black drums in which water is stored <clears throat> so what happens is when the heat uh, when the sunlight strikes the glazing the water stores that uh, heat and that water transfers that heat to the wall and again you try to paint it black so that you increase the absorption in absorption so we can see that so very much easy so instead of a black wall now we have black drums which act as water storing storage units the internal surface can be painted with any color but we try to prefer the external color as black because black has a good absorption capacity the last uh, technique which we've been discuss will be discussing is indirect heat gain so if you talk about a section of an indirect heat gain wall uh, for a trans wall <coughs> you have to uh, see you have uh, on the extreme exterior you have uh, on the south on the extreme left you have a glass then water is stored after that a semi permanent absorption plate or a perspex is placed <coughs> again you place some water and then a glass so it's like a sandwich of a glass water perspex water and glass <coughs> so what happens is again it's pretty simple heat is absorbed by the glass on the pit on your left that hotness would be absorbed by the water just adjacent to it via perspex this heat is transferred to the water just 
on the right hand side of the perspex and then through the glass on the leftmost side the heat gets uh, transmitted to the interiors so let's read the subhead is like the sub point so that it's pretty much clear it partly absorb and partly radiates heat loss to glazing is low as much of the heat is de uh, deposited of the transfer ensure that the exterior does not become too hot so what happens because you have multiple layers uh, through which the heat is being transferred no at at no point any one component of the <coughs> wall is pretty hot so again i will tell you that what are the basic components we have a container made of parallel glass walls in a metal frame thermal storage liquid which is generally water is put and a partially absorbing plate is set at the center of the transfer to the parallel glass wall so that it easily transmits uh, heat from the exterior to the interior so guys this was it for today's video uh, so you by now you have already known that i have uh, recently not recently i guess a, a month and a half back in Jul in mid july mid i launched my gate architecture 2021 ebook <coughs> on amazon kindle so this book is pretty much different than the other book because i have tried to give you study notes within the book itself so you've got a small section of study materials where you could find the materials section by section other than that this book will also have a picture book in itself the picture book basically has architects and their works you will have around 100 plus architects 100 plus architects with their works other than this uh, you will also find uh, landscape plant and plant inventory you will also find the pritzker prize award winners in the chronological order one could also buy just the picture book it's also available on the amazon kindle one thing which i would like to tell you is that this uh, kindle so you not you must be thinking that i do not own a kindle you need not to worry because Amazon Kindle also Amazon has its own Kindle app where one can also buy books you need not to have a Kindle with you a Kindle app is enough for you to buy so i guess for the last one year i was working with this book for this book and it is finally launched so any one of you can buy that online and you could be you could just prepare for your exam at a, at your just uh, at your mobile on a fingertip i hope you will buy that and i'll leave all the com all the disc all the links for the to buy this book on in the description box below do check it out and thank you for watching this video please do subscribe share and comment i'll be back with the next video after two or three days thank you for watching me goodbye